come together today from many faiths, races, political persuasions, because we are united when it comes to our love for and our belief in the children, all the children of Maryland. Maryland's Catholic Church has always supported the DREAM Act, and we worked hard with many of our partners here today to make sure this measure was passed by our state legislature. We will continue to work hard to be sure that Maryland voters support the DREAM Act in November. We are convinced when Marylanders know the facts about the DREAM Act that they will happily embrace the chance to do the right thing for our young people. Among the three Catholic dioceses in Maryland, we have established a joint task force led by Bishop Francesco Gonzalez of Washington be sure our parishes, our schools, and all of our Catholic community are, for, are well informed about this issue. We've established a Facebook page, held trainings, and will be active organizing educational events throughout these coming months. And here's what we'll be saying. The Catholic Church supports the DREAM Act because we believe that every person, regardless of their legal status, is a child of God. As a church and as a community, we flourish when we strive to provide every person the opportunity to reach their full potential and to develop the unique God-given gifts that they have been given. The DREAM Act does not give special favors to children of undocumented immigrants. It gives them a level playing field, a fair chance to make good on the investment that our state has already made in their elementary in secondary education. What good reason can there be for denying these students who have worked so hard, who have made the right choices, who have earned acceptance to higher education, the chance to take this next step? The Catholic Church in this country stands proudly on the shoulders of immigrants who built our churches, built our schools, built our hospitals, and so many other institutions. From the very beginning, we have understood the fundamental value of education, and we have always had our doors open to provide all children with the best of educational opportunity possible. In fact, some of our nation's earliest Catholic schools were founded right here in Baltimore to serve the African-American children at a time when it was illegal to do so in many places. Our support for the DREAM Act is woven into the fabric of our history as both Catholics and Americans. It is grounded in our unity with all those who respect the law, but who do so knowing that it is God who first writes his law in our hearts. As we gaze on the faces of these young persons who will benefit from the DREAM Act, we cannot help but think of God and hear his voice. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. These children are no longer strangers to Maryland. They have lived, worked, and studied side by side with all of their classmates for almost all their lives. And, when should we, and we should welcome them as our very own, continue to work hard to re help them to realize their dreams through higher education. We should and we must support them by supporting the DREAM Act. Thank you very much, and may God bless you all.